Hello, my name is Chloe. I'm a threat analyst for WordFence, and today I'd like to walk you through the exploitation of the vulnerability that we found in the PageLayer plugin would look like, and specifically, we're going to be focusing on the PageLayer save content function. So to begin, I'd like to show you a couple of things from the back end. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as an administrative user. And I'd like to show you that we're running version 1.1.0 of the plugin. We only have one administrative user currently, and that's admin. And we have a post that's been edited by PageLayer, which is the Hello World post. And all I've done is added a PageLayer button right here that just takes you to the Hello World page. Um, and just to show you something real quick, this button, all it does is take me to the Hello World page, and it does not create any user on the site. Once I'm done exploiting this vulnerability, when we go to that page, a new administrative user will be created. So I just kind of wanted to show you that so that you could verify for yourselves that nothing is happening currently on this page. And now that we've gone through that, I think it's safe to start the exploitation process. So I'm going to go ahead and log out of my administrative account. And I have enabled registration on this site, which is required to exploit this vulnerability. So I'm going to go ahead and register, and we're going to register as a subscriber. And now I'm going to go ahead and log in with that account. And you can see that I'm logged in as a subscriber. I have very basic privileges. And so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to grab a nonce from that Hello World page that we visited by viewing the page source. And at the top here, you can see that we have a page layer Ajax nonce, which is needed for our exploit. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then I'm going to open up Burp. And here I have a request crafted and ready to go for us. So um, we have the page layer update content with all the data in, he in here. And as part of my exploit, I have a script in here that's going to inject a new administrative user on the site, which is all this right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and paste that nonce that we just copied right here. And one other thing that we need in order to do this is steal a, uh, not steal, but take our cookies as a subscriber. So I'm going to hop over here and just grab those cookies real quick. These are admin cookies, so I don't want those. And then here I have my subscriber cookies. Grab those, paste in the cookie. And as soon as I send this request, it's going to update the post. Here we see that we have a success post content was successfully updated. And what we'll do is go back to this page, just refresh it, and everything looks perfectly normal and exactly the same. And that is the cool part about this. So in order to take this to the next step, I need to actually log in as the administrative user. And once I've logged in as the administrative user and I access this page, a request is going to be sent in the background that we're not necessarily seeing that's going to inject the administrative user account. So we go ahead and log out real quick. Log in as our admin. And we can go to the users page and we can see that we just have admin and subscriber. But now I'm going to go back to that Hello World post, visit site. Just click on Hello World, and we'll just see it looks exactly the same still. The button just says Read More still. And what we do is we go back here, we go to our users, and you can see after I access that page, we have a new administrative user account that was injected in the background. And that was one of the issues with this plugin, was that malicious JavaScripts could be injected on any page that had been edited by PageLayer. Um, as subscriber level users. And so this is just one of the ways that cross-site scripting can be exploited. Um, there are several different ways that they can be exploited and, and modified and manipulated. Of course, since this vulnerability updated page content, um, page content could be erased or maliciously modified in other ways. This is just one example of how an attacker could abuse this vulnerability. As always, we highly recommend updating to the latest version available as soon as possible. This was patched in version 1.1.2. However, the latest version as a, available as of today is 1.1.3, which we highly recommend updating to as soon as possible.